Where did I go wrong, Smithers? All I wanted to do was discover eternal life and live forever. Ugh. Why is life so unfair? Hmm. We need to find a way to get rid of all these metal-headed buffoons off the power plant without much attention being bitted into us. And I just had an idea. All we have to do is use some unreliable individual to secure this room with all these robotic monstrosities. And just as you know it, these robots will be the town's problem. And we will put all the blame on this individual. We'll be innocent as a little puppy. Smithers, find me the stupidest ape in this power plant and bring it to me, will you? Don't you worry, Mr. Barnes. I may just know the guy. I may just know the guy. Excellent. Wake up. So we meet again, Homer. SpongeBob? I mean, g God? Why, well, yes, indeed. You have once again met your demise, so now you are here. But that's okay. I won't let you die. I will put you back together. If anything, I will be here watching. Wonder if I should order pizza or make popcorn, or I should just get both. Simpson. 
that lazy slum will get what's coming to him. I will enjoy this. What's happening? Why am I filled with such anger just now? Doesn't matter. I will find a way out of here. They can't keep me here forever. Thank <laughs> you. 
Something wrong, Homa? You haven't even touched your tough beer. Oh, Mo, this new shift I was given at work is killing me. I can't even doze off anymore. There are these stupid robots who won't stop trying to escape. No, that's something I right. Hey, they don't happen to be Nigel's robots, right? Uh, I guess. They did look quite familiar. Hey, there's even that one from when you and Nigel opened that diner together. You know, the one that oddly looks like uh, Mr. Burns? That thing's still moving? Look, Homa, I have something to say you might need to know. Back when I was running Uncle's Mo family feedback, business was not going very good. Few Nigel's show up. He offered to help around and open a brand new location. He wanted to use animatronics mascots. But at the time, he was still quite new to the whole robot sphinx. Anyways, we had a look around the sanitary landfill for props for this new place. We may have found some robots there, not so bad conditions either. Well, I don't really know where these robots come from. And sometimes, that's worries me. Not to impress Nigel, never expose these things. Homa, you might be in danger in there. Ugh. For crying out loud. Hey Barney, stop that. Don't make me come over there.
this now. This must be a nightmare. I hate to admit it, but I would like to be home now. Wouldn't we how? Huh? Who's there? I am just one of the many subjects trapped in this facility, just like yourself. As you've seen inside those capsules, they are doing despicable things to us. We have to find a way out before it's too late. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense. I know a way out of here. Someone has been entering this facility to check on us. I need you to immobilize him. I will take care of the rest. After that, we are free from this cage who's trapping us like little birds. Will you help me? Seems like you're in a similar situation as mine, so I guess I can trust you. But no funny business. I was dragged around enough already. Do I look like the type that would lie? I am true to my words. You can trust me. <laughs> ah, what's the big idea, you big canine freak? Put me down! Hey! Let me go! Three, two, one. Ready or not, I will tear your bottles off. I can hear you. Ah! You look even uglier from here. Thank you. 
tired and taking a walk in the woods at night, eh? Come on, princess. Let's go find some people to prank. Oh, aren't you a little curious, boo? Okay, I believe I have found our targets. Children and the teenagers. Oh boy, this will be my best prank yet. Oh, princess. Oh, oh. oh boy, that's pretty bad. But I will put you back together. If my name ain't Cyberwave. There we go, cut us now. I never tried to use my own power to fix living beings before, but I'm sure it will be fine. At least it should last till they get home. Come on, princess, let's get out of here before they wake up and see us. Welcome back, defenseless mortal flashback. I can hear you.
Mr. Burns, there must be a better way to work this out. I need my robot. Silence, Mr. Colvin. Even your voice begins to wear out a little thick after a while. I'm taking your robots with me for a few experiments, and you better not start blabbing about it. I know quite a lot about your company that, in the wrong hands, got put you out on the streets. Now, Smithers, try me away from this place. If we stay any longer, I might start feeling bad for him. You know how that makes my ankles hurt. <laughs> Smithers, I've grown quite impatient. It's only been a couple of nights now, and that fat doofus still hasn't failed according to plan. <sighs> we must take action. Something must be done about this. Hmm. Something such as getting a duplicate ID card and placing it within that building. Yes, Smithers, I want you to sneak inside there and place that duplicate card so those crazed convenience food bolts for brains will leave and we can still place the blame on that fatso. Great thinking, Mr. Burns. Consider that done. Oh, great! 
Now that we have this ID card, we can be free. Not yet. This might be a trap. I need you and everyone to focus on getting the man to checks on us to make sure he won't grow suspicious. I will go outside and make sure we can escape without any problem. We may have only one shoot at this. Are you sure? Can't we just leave and be over with it? Come on, it shouldn't be this bad. I mean, look at us. Who can stop us? <sighs> Unless you want a real problem, I would recommend you to listen to my orders. Well, what? Okay, I guess. But I'm not doing it because I'm scared of you. <sighs> this will do. <laughs> Thank you. 
Simpson. We'll see how it feels to have nothing. I've had enough of your evil doings, you naughty man. You won't get away from what you've done. Change of plans. We are killing that man tonight. Or else I'll chop all of your necks out. I can hear you. I can hear you. Your attempts to survive are futile. Oh, my God. 
For shenanigans, Homer Simpson, you ruined my life with your idiotic ways, and that's not enough to you? Killing you at this point won't be nearly enough to express how much I despise you. Your family will be taking the consequences of your insolence. You will know how it feels to have nothing at all. I'm destroying your house with your family in it.
I just had the craziest dream. I was dealing with killer robots and then chased down by some crusty robot or, or something. Huh? Former system, we had come here to arrest you, but given how you stopped that giant crazed machine, it makes you the town hero. And we have a policy against arresting heroes, so you're good, Simpson. See ya!